Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. We are still in Chapter 9 doing stoichiometry, and today we're going to try to solve some mixed mole stoichiometry problems. So recall that there are five types of reaction stoichiometry problems, actually six if you count mixed. So our problems that we've solved so far are mole-mole, mole-mass, mass-mole, mass-mass, volume-volume, particle-particle, and today mixed problems. So by mixed mole problem, what I mean is that you might be given mass and asked for liters, for instance, or you might be given liters and asked for particles. So in general, this is really a study in mole roadmap. So here, given, remembering the mole roadmap, you might be given liters, you might be given grams, and you might be given molecules or formula units. So the first part is a mole roadmap problem, getting from volume, mass, or particles to moles of what you were given. Then you look at the equation, this is the stoic part, to get from moles of what you were given to moles of what you're trying to find. And then finally, once you're at moles, again, it's a mole roadmap thing. You can go to volume using 22.4 liters at STP, you could go to grams using molar mass, and you could go to the number of representative particles using Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd pieces. So, again, another graphic, if this helps you, you have to figure out what unit you were given, you have to get to moles using mole roadmap stuff, then you read the equation, the balanced chemical equation, and that gets you from moles of this to moles of that, and then once you get to moles of what you're looking for, mole roadmap stuff, what unit am I getting to? Is it volume? Is it grams? Is it particles? So let's solve a mixed problem. Problem one. For the reaction, decomposition of potassium chloride to give you potassium chloride and oxygen. How many liters of oxygen will be produced from the decomposition of 115 grams of potassium chlorate. So this is mass and we want liters. So before we can solve this, if we're going from mass, in order to use the mole ratio from the equation, we're going to have to first identify what our variables are and then we're going to have to do a molar mass. So let's identify first off. We were given grams of potassium chlorate circle it in the equation so that your mole ratio becomes obvious. We want liters of oxygen. Again, I'm identifying the two things in the equation because my mole ratio will be these two things. And now to solve this, I'm going to have to do a molar mass box. So here I've calculated for one potassium, one chlorine, and three oxygens. That's my molar mass. Now I can start with my given and I'm going to multiply by molar mass. Here's my given, here's my molar mass. So I can cancel out grams of potassium chlorate. I've gotten rid of grams of potassium chlorate and I'm getting to moles of potassium chlorate. Now I'm ready for my mole ratio and that comes from the equation. And the equation tells me that for every three moles of oxygen that's produced, I have to decompose two moles of potassium chlorate. So now I've gotten from moles of potassium chlorate to moles of oxygen, so I can cancel out moles of potassium chlorate, and now I'm at moles of oxygen. Now to go from moles of oxygen to liters of oxygen, I'm going to multiply by molar volume, and I know that <clears throat> every one mole of oxygen has 22.4 liters. So now I can get rid of moles of oxygen here, and now I'm at liters. Now, to plug this into my calculator, it's going to be 115 times 1 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 22.4 divided by 1 equals, and I get 31.5299 and some more numbers. Looking at the problem, we were given three significant digits. That was the only measurement. Have to round this to three significant digits. That means it ends at the 5. The number after it is a 2, so we leave it alone. So our answer is 31.5 liters of oxygen. So now we're ready to solve the second problem. Next problem 2. 
for the reaction, uh, again, the decomposition of potassium chlorate, how many molecules of oxygen will be produced from the decomposition of 115 grams of potassium chlorate? Let's identify, given grams of potassium chlorate, want molecules of oxygen. Again, our mole ratio is these two things. That's all we're concerned with. And now, in order to solve it, if I'm going from grams of potassium chlorate, once again, I need my molar mass box. So here's my molar mass that we calculated in the last uh, problem, and it's 122.55 grams. So now I start with my given, the 115 grams. I'm multiplying by molar mass. Now I can see that I've gone from grams to moles, so I can cancel out potassium chlorate, grams of potassium chlorate, and now I am ready to multiply by my mole ratio. So now I'm going from moles of potassium chlorate to moles of oxygen. That means I can cancel out moles of potassium chlorate. Now I'm at moles of oxygen, but I want to get to molecules of oxygen. So now I have to multiply by Avogadro's number. So again, I know that for every mole of oxygen, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles, in this case molecules, of oxygen. So now I've gone from moles of oxygen to molecules, so moles of oxygen cancels out. Now I'm at molecules of oxygen, plugging this into the calculator, 115 times 1 divided by this, 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 1 equals. And I get this number, 8.47368 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, going back to the original problem, we were given only one measurement, 115 grams, that's three sig figs. So our third significant digit is the 7. So when we round, we will get 8.47 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.